Hello everybody, welcome to episode 7 of the Darkness Falls series, and, well, we know what this day is, Horde Day, and I'm not really sure what to do to prepare for it, other than, of course, taking some iron and making some hatches, so we're gonna do that. While also checking our forge down here, what do we have so far? 150 iron. <laughs> yeah, we've got a bit, bit of a surplus. Should be good for now. I don't think we'll need more yet. Let's eat a grilled tomato because we can. Now we want to craft iron hatches. I'm thinking three of them should probably do for now. And during the horde night, we need to remember to keep A, a cobblestone, and B, forged iron on us at all times. So we repair the building itself and the hatches. Oh yeah, I remember that. At the end of the episode yesterday, I saw a cow. And I'm gonna kill this cow. You look like leather to me, and I do love me some leather. Let's see if I can just take this thing on face to face. Mono a cow. Power attacking? Yeah, I can just, wow. 250 damage in no time at all. Got a blade weapons level up too. How's that looking? 51. Nine more levels to go. Nice. Wow. 17 hide for one cow. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. How are these damn trees not... <laughs> just grow. Grow already. It's tree time. Well, I guess I'll just kill a few zombies around my base and see if I can't get a level up. So look looking like? Eh, we're gonna have to kill at least one or two more. Ah, uh, we have one over here. Here to be the test dummy as to whether or not one zombie's worth of XP will give me a level. Oh, he just froze my game and spit at me. Neat. Gee, he's just making some crazy noises while stanced up. There's that level up. Wonderful. Now the question is what to put these points toward. We could start investing in loot stage, but I don't think that that's really the valuable decision to be making right now. Charismatic nature is very, very tasty looking. Because when we finish it up, five points, you know what? We have exactly five points. We're player level 20. Here we go. That's what we'll be spending today doing. Gonna set up my hatches and then we'll do some quests to get maximum XP and dukes. Then if we have to before the day starts, well, the night starts. We'll requisition Hugh for any and all shotgun shells that he has. Because if the spear is not up to snuff, can we, what, am I still crafting the hatches? Oh, they're slow. It says to have an iron hatch, and I have an iron hatch in my inventory, right here. I guess I'll just break these down then. Rest in spaghetti wooden hatches, you'll be missed. Probably. Maybe. Nah, not really. I thought that I could have just upgraded those. Very weird. But how is that damaged? Eh, just don't ask questions. That's the proper answer. Oh no, we have to wait a minute and ten seconds. Ugh, imagine. Well, I guess we'll just beat up these blocks down here and level it out with the rest. There's no reason to give the zombies more spots to attack and jump around and wreak havoc on my horde base. I can power attack a surprising amount now. We only have one more point to go in Sexy T-Rex. And one more point to go for the mining stuff. So that's not too bad. We are making very serious progress. And even like that, I've gotten a mining tools level. What are we at right now? Action skills. 49. We only need 11 more levels. Is that damn hatch done yet? 15 seconds. Ugh, just beat this down again. Another two blocks to go. <laughs> just keep shuffling left and right to get them athletics levels. Anything to increase our stamina recovery. If I can, I'd like to maintain doing mostly melee for a multitude of horde knights. But we'll see how that goes. I get the feeling they might just start spitting if they pile up too much and they can't reach me. As it stands, the hazard boys and- Oh, my thing is broken. Damn it. Uh, how many repair kits do we have? 14? It only takes one to repair, and not that bad. But as it stands, the hazmat boys and the Taurus will start spitting from like, seems like a three or four block radius. It's a pretty small range. So one hatch facing this way, then we get inside here, then we have one hatch facing this way, and another facing the same direction. So we will have three layers of hatches, if need be. But we'll just start with one, so that they won't see it as a titanic health pool. Let's get the stone back on that barn just to keep the space. Now then, questing time. Apparently unlocking the tier 2 for the merchant didn't give us access to the bicycle, which, that's unusual. I thought that that still worked in the Darkness Falls mod. Guess I'm wrong. I don't know which POI this quest is even locked onto. Oh, I guess it's this one. The one that's surrounded in Yucca that seems like it should be in the desert. Let's go ahead and loot this, and we'll try to pile through this real quick. Oh no, what are they shooting in here? Oh no. <laughs> that guy was gonna stand up and attack me from behind, but he died to bleeding. Oh crap, zombies outside. Oh, is that a whole wandering horde? Uh-oh. Here comes some XP. Hey, 
And XP it was. I think I just got an entire? No. Half of a level up. Not as much as I thought. But half of a level up from one horde. Not too bad. Let's see, blue key card. We didn't have to leave the area, so we still have the quest active. That's a plus. I don't mind wandering hordes, it's just XP to me. Mushroom spores, yucca seed, don't need most of this. Actually, I picked up a corn seed, I don't need that either. I can just get corn by itself. Suit pants, let's grab that. Jar of honey, bandages. The honey could be good. Infections aren't as common in Darkness Falls, but they can still be annoying. One of the great perks of being specialized in bladed weapons is that I can actually properly power attack with that while collecting animal corpses or whatever and not have to worry too much about it. Painting? Nothing behind it. Too bad. Oh, this door is actually locked. Imagine. Barred and locked? Ludicrous. Shades. Reload speed up? What do we have? Lucky goggles? I think I like that better. We'll sell the shades. Actually, no, I don't even want to sell the shades. Rather just keep the encumbrance down. Check the toilet. Jar of piss. What else do we have? Luggage. Some weak stuff. Tear this bed for more cloth. Not much in terms of loot in this particular, uh, EOI. Feels like the trash piles had the best stuff. Oh, we got the oven here. Yeah, just rotting flesh. So I guess the only thing left is this other building over here. Should watch out for the, um... <laughs> Did I just... Hold on a second. Right-clicking with the crowbar drains a boatload of stamina? but also repairs things. I, oh, that was unlocked. Whoopsie. <laughs> I think the crowbar is a little bugged. Oh, we just pissed everyone off. Looks like there's like six or seven of them. Maybe more. One power attack each should be fine. Just keep an eye over that door to our left. No blowing up now, big mama. Don't need that business. All right, he's dead. And then there's two more in the other room. Let's kill them before looting, just to be safe. Oh, see Daisy over here. I see a cooking pot. That could be dangerous. Might blow up. Couple more dead nerds. She's gonna bleed to death? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Warning, that is not something you should ever celebrate. Check the stove. I don't know why it's sideways like that. That is a cooking pot, right? Can I pick that up? I'm gonna pick it up just in case. Now it can't cause problems. And we have a second grill. I guess I can put it on my other campfire. Actually, no, no, I can just craft that if I end up needing it. Drop the yeast. Let's grab this. Just start looting everything. More corn, I suppose. Dishwasher on the counter. Uh, it's a tough counter. Just holding that entire thing up. Very tough counter. Seeing all these seeds in the cupboards just makes me regret picking the survivalist. It makes me want to pick the farmer. Seems like a fun class. Let's take a peek in this room that the construction man was in. Get all the cloth from this. I would be wrenching all of that, but I don't really want to take all the time. Let's grab this wooden bow schematic. Apparently we can already craft it. So you have an unlocked room there with some laundry. Or lucky goggles. Let's grab them. Let's take a peek in here. Oh. Um, this wall is kind of messed up. Let's see what's on the other side, shall we? What is zero health? Wait, what? Hold on a second. What's it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? What is happening? Let me, can I get through this at all? What about these blocks? Um, okay. I feel like I could use that for a Horde Knight gimmick. Oh, there's a nightstand here I didn't loot. It's definitely, possibly, a, just a bug that I could abuse. I won't, but <laughs> you really could. This has been neat. Let's go ahead and make our way after grabbing this. Red lucky goggles. Eight. This should be the end of it, right? What's left? Just that room over there. Eh, well, they'll punch that wall down for me while I collect these corpses. I don't see any burbs up here. Oh, the roof says help us. Uh, while these guys were asking for help, the people in the other building were shooting some kind of strange porno. Well, let's go ahead and beat through all of this. Get ready to deal with some zombies. But guys, at least focus on one block at a time. Damn, that crowbar takes a lot of stamina to use. Nope, no spiders. Exhausting all stamina, power attack time. I can see a glow in the distance. Somebody's spitting. Who's the pervert? Oh, it's a cop. Should've known. It's a pretty packed attic. Busy times, huh? What is over here? See, <laughs> see this guy? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a second. This guy's like, no, if, you know, if it wasn't part of the POI, I would've left it there. But you gotta go, buddy. Sorry. It's just how it is. Start punching through these. Ooh, that's a fire ass. Scrap the schematic first. But I think I'm gonna have to replace my scrap iron fire ass with this one. Tier 37 iron fire ass. Put it right there. Take these vitamins that I picked up earlier. Just gives me two wellness. That's a win. Oh yeah, this swings much faster. Blueberry pie. Pancakes. Not buy. Eat them for the wellness boost. 128 max to 131. Oh, no. Even higher. This is 151? Rum? Oh yeah, this, this, man, this thing is way faster. Doesn't take that much more stamina either. It's not crazy. Just crack open all the boxes all at once. 
anything down here? No. Salute all of this. Get ready to head back to our base. Cobblestone? No. We have plenty at home. I'm trying to break the habit of emptying crates or boxes that I'm not going to loot anyway. Drop the tire, take the rest. Tanning rack, I think we have one of these at the base, so we'll drop it or scrap it. Scrap it. 27 wrench, scrap it. Ooh, more stuff. All right, this was fun. Got to see some truly buggy business. Let's see, do I even need all these bones and stuff? I mean, the nitrate is probably good because I don't know where the ore veins are. Somewhere in the winter biome. So I guess we'll just keep collecting this business. Get our way in here. Nah, I'm not, not that pressed for it. Let's make our way back home. Where's the way out? Where am I? Who am I? Who am I and how did I get in my house? We got ourselves an upgraded fire ass, so I'd say it's been a good day. What? All right, huggy boy, you. What do you got for me? Spear, same tier as mine. Fire ass, not needed. Another magazine extender. I mean, nothing else of value really exists in this selection, so magazine extender it is. Oh, right, I maxed out the thing. So I'm getting more XP tokens and, well, yeah casino tokens, and I can pick two rewards. We already have a good food, so there's no point in taking the apple pie. The rest of this is crap, though. I guess we'll sell the scrap iron axe back to him. Here you go, buddy. Oh, you. Anything else we want to sell to him? Mm, no, it's fine. Actually, it's day seven. Let's see what he's got here. Lever action rifle, whatever. Stun baton. Should we buy the shotgun shells? Probably. It's only 1600. For 50 of them, we'll take it. Anything else? Grenades? Maybe not yet. Not feeling like blowing up the world just yet. We'll get there. Eventually. Oh yeah, I get better prices now too. That's good. Dew Collector. I wonder what value that serves in Darkness Falls, considering it's so easy to get water, at this point at least. I am curious. Advanced water filter, mineral infuser. I guess we can make a improved Dew Collector of some sort. We'll get around to it eventually. Fortifying grip, trigger group mods, no good mods. Iron pickaxe, nothing crazy. I can craft my own crucible. I'm not spending 14 grand on that. In terms of books, nothing great. Food is mid. It only has is an iron helmet. So. That's right. Do the math. Yeah, I did the math. I think I'm done doing jobs for you. Instead, we'll do jobs for this lady. What are you looking for? A job? <laughs> what do you sell? It's all medicine, right? We could buy the vitamins, I guess. Now we have another 90 minutes cooldown on that. This lady sells a bunch of meds. Bye. I'm still here. Can you help me? Mm, I, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> these, these canned lines. Let's go jump over the wall here. Now these quests, what I just picked up, was called something, something Cable Guy. <laughs> Hold on a second, what is it called again? Cable Guy's never made it. Now I have to run an annoying distance, which is why I was trying to get a bicycle from Hugh first, but I guess that's not happening. Now what would it take to craft one of those? Bicycle. A little bit of forged iron, which I can do, and then the rest is doable too. I would just need a workbench, which I think I can craft as well. You know what? We'll do that when we get back. Actually, no, we'll do that now. We're not that far from home. Also, these damn apple trees haven't grown for yet another day. Does it take an entire week? <laughs> it might. It really might. Let's collect that. <laughs> that made a really soft, just splurge noise when I used the fire axe for it. That was weird. We have some crafting to do. Let's go and close this thing up. Close this hatch. Make our way down here. Now, we have forged iron. We're going to take the rest of it, too. Oh, the empty jars are on the way. Good. Let's use the rest of the sand to craft more. Craft another 30 bars of iron. Now, what we're trying to do is collect the mechanical parts. Wait. Mechanical parts? I might not have many of those. So, then they would be up here. Mechanical parts? Huh? Huh? Oh, we do. Okay. I'll take those and start the workbench. It's going to take four minutes. So we'll do the quest while that's happening. But once that's done, we can craft a bicycle or actually we might even... Let me check. Motor. Motorcycle. I can craft an entire motorcycle. Hold on. How far have I gone with this? Just from reading books. This could be a big change. Into perks. Make our way down here. Vehicles for dumb shits. That's me. I'm dumb shit. Mini bike. Motorcycle. Four by four. But that would require... Level 30. I just have to hit level 30 to unlock that. For now, though, I think we're going to prioritize the motorcycle, which I'm assuming takes steel. Yeah, we can't do steel yet, so we'll do the motorbike, right? Motor. Bike. Mini bike, not motorbike. This just takes iron. Pretty easy. I could get a headlight by tearing apart a car or two. See if we can find one between us and the objective. Quiet, buddy. I'm busy. I'm monologuing my future. I bet this fire axe is <laughs> even better than my spear in terms of combat. I'm telling you, these fire axes are actually insanely good. Oh, I need moisture. I could do at least one quest with slightly low hydration. That's a moonwalking cheerleader. Why? What? <laughs> Wait a second. 
Why is she doing this? She's just moonwalking and then jumping over nothing. She's really struggling to get over that chrysanthemum. Go ahead and put her out of her misery. All right, next is POI. Yeah, this car's. Well, those are junk ones. Those ones will only give me metal. But yo, hey, busy, be quiet. This, this is a car. Why have I ever seen one? No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> This is going to be slow. The only way to increase this is to pick the mechanic class. Then you can tear things apart insanely fast. This is why I haven't been taking things apart, but it seems like we're going to want to. At least for a little bit. We might not finish the craft today, but if we can at least start a motorcycle, that will have a huge impact on the rest of the playthrough. Did we get a headlight? No headlights. Damn. Maybe you can't get them from cars at this level of destruction. Actually, I think there's another car inside that garage too. Oh no, we just got a headlight. Neat. I bet we need an engine, and I don't think I have... Well, no, I might have one engine. Maybe I sold them. We'll just get one anyway. Doesn't hurt to have more. I suppose this does increase our scavenging skill as well. Completely forgot about that, which means our loot stage is going to be boosted. It's the only way to increase the kind of loot that you're going to get without... Oh man, that's, that's just... We'll just take a peek inside. Is there a window over here? Yeah. Inside is one beaten up car. Not worth the effort. We'll be fine without it. I think we have one engine in the chest at home. Probably. Just keep collecting these bird's nests. Stockpiling for the future. We've made our way to the start of this quest. Hush, buddy. So when I activate this, there will be a horde of construction workers. These are the cable guys that didn't make it. In every quest I take from that White Run River Scout, or White River... <laughs> White Run? <laughs> Yarl of White Run. Every quest I take from that White River Scout lady is essentially going to be this. It's just a murder spree. But I, personally, would prefer to be able to just more quickly travel between our objectives while doing these. Instead of being forced into this awkward situation where I'm sprinting everywhere, taking like four times longer than I need to to get to my objectives. I think I have more than enough chrysanthemum and goldenrod at this point too, so it's not like I need to collect any more of that. I'm just doing it now because I'm on foot anyway basically being forced into this role, mostly due to my own negligence. I didn't even consider to stop and check what it took to craft these things. I just defaulted to Vanilla Brain, where I would have to read a million books and wait until I was like level 40 to craft anything. But no, we can just go and make our own vehicles as soon as we get home. And we will. We're gonna make the crap out of our own vehicle. I guess we should check for the mini bike. Actually, no, even more than that. Let me see how much steel I have at my base. I think I have 34. I might be wrong about this, but I'm going to check. The sun? Yeah, we're about midday. The horde is approaching, but only slowly. We have time. So I have a workbench. I want to place that down here. Probably just line it up on this wall right here. I don't want to take the time to dig any more out. Not yet, at least. We will. This is going to be bigger than just a hovel in the ground at some point. Oh no. Motorcycle. If I wanted to craft that, I would need to put a wrench in here. Crap. How do I make a wrench? Oh, pretty cheap. Start crafting that now. That's a minute 50. Probably gonna want to put a claw hammer in here at some point too. But I can craft that. We need 30 forged steel. My steel is up here. Time to see just how much. 42. Let's just bring it downstairs along with the iron. Which means we can go straight to the motorcycle. Hooray. Two wheels. I can go and get that. It's pretty easy to get in Darkness Falls. You can just get them on the road, essentially. A lead car battery. I do not have one of those. Electrical parts, mechanical parts, forged steel, duct tape. We have everything we need for this. The handlebars, we have the headlight, mechanical parts. So yes, we just have to look around and see if I have an engine. Then we'll collect ourselves some wheels. Then a lead car battery, and I believe that should be it. Start putting those things in here. The headlight, we'll put a radiator, just because. Screw it. It's going to hold my feathers, too. And this will take some clay. And the magazine extender bot. Actually, hold on. Can I just put this on my pump? I think I can. Yeah, look at that. Now I gotta grab my mechanical parts up here and see if I have an engine. Do I? Engine? Hello? No engine. I'll have to go get one of those. But I'm going to take the mechanical parts out of here, for sure. Do I have electrical parts as well? No. Okay. I think in total we needed 24, so we have enough. Because we have 30-something mechanical parts. Yeah, we'll be fine. Put the wrench in here and begin this. Seven minutes for that. The handlebars need a headlight. So now those are on the way too. Now we just need that engine and car battery within seven minutes. Then we can begin the craft. Just put the steel back in here. Don't need it anymore for a good while. And we'll just put the forged iron on our hotbar. Time to turn in our quest. See what our good reward is. The White River Scout, as far as I know, has a high chance of giving weapons and ammo. And healing items. But weapons and ammo are the important part. So, we'll do our damnedest. Now that we can pick two... To potentially put together something that could amount to a good horde defense. Unless she gives us just an AK with no ammo. 
<laughs> we'll wait until we can get a better weapon from her for that. But the generic schematics are highly valuable. We'll take that. And, well, we could just sell the AK back to Hugh. Yeah, we'll probably just take the AK for now. I'll put it in the chest. Start the next quest. Lady Killer. Just going to be a bunch of female zombies. Instead of going to do that, we're going to tear apart the cars at Hugh's place. Because we have a chance to get wheels, of course. But mostly the lead battery in the engine. Those are going to be the hard parts. And I do have a pretty high scavenging level, which I think is supposed to affect the wrench. But the thing that matters the most with the wrench is the mechanic class. If you're not the mechanic, well, good luck, bucko. But that's okay. We have about a third of a day to just go around and tear things apart. Oh, well, we just got our lead car battery, right? Yeah. So now we just need one engine. I could check Hugh's shop and see if he still has one of the ones that I sold to him, but I doubt it. His shop reset today, so it's not likely. We'll pass on that. Instead, we'll just have to tear apart cars. If we don't get any wheels, we can use this wrench on tires out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, my water is draining. Pay a visit to the campfire real quick and rehydrate. But the tires that you see on the ground, you can wrench them with, well, a wrench. Or an impact driver or whatever you have. And there's a high chance to get a tire from them. Just a whole tire. You know, like you should be able to. I have some corn. I'm just going to cook that up along with this random potato. What I came here for is this. Mmm, moisture. Drink about four of these and set some more to craft. Another twelve. That's quite a bit. Screw it. We'll drink another one. We've officially got an infinite supply of water. Eh, we'll tear apart this car while we're here. This is unsearched? Really? Weird. Weird that I passed by this so many times and not taken what's in it. Scrap iron club, pretty mid. Time to start taking this thing apart. Looks like my stamina could manage to handle a few power attacks. Jeez, not many. This is considered a blunt weapon, so I'm not very uh, efficient at it. I lose boatloads of stamina when using this thing. Uh, no engine yet. Gonna have to walk our way into town. There's gonna be more tires laying around there. Seems like the engine is probably going to be the hard part. And again, oh, the clouds are out, but... The sun is still at roughly the two-thirds point. Here we are. Tire. We tear this apart. There's a chance to just, well, get a tire. Not this time, though. Just plastic. Really? We're getting the Horde Knight Lightning already? It's not even close to that time yet. Let's take a peek inside this garage. There could be a tire in here. I feel like we've been in here. Probably. No? Well, guess we'll just take this thing for its mechanical parts, then. Then move along. Keep following the road, only stopping to enter garages and to tear apart cars. Do we have car. Ooh, and a tire. There we go. Plus one tire. Now we only need one more of those. Now we'll take this thing apart in hopes of getting an engine, but I don't know if you can from the ones that are in this state. I guess we'll find out. Another scavenging level. That's good. I really don't like that that lightning's occurring so early on in the day. It's like they're trying to freak me out. So we can save this garage while we're here. Oh, it's unlocked. Not expected. Oh, that's why. Got a few zombies protecting it. By a few, I guess I mean one. Ooh, another tire. Don't mind if I do. Uh, no tire from, well, that tire. I guess they're all just thoroughly deflated. Let's tear apart this thing. I hope I'm not just mistaking the type of day here. Because I keep seeing the Horde Night Lightning. Or the lightning that, yeah, see right there, that just happened. It just happened again. We're getting the lightning flashes as if it's almost Horde Night, but it's only like, just barely past midday. <laughs> Let's hope I'm not wrong about that. The sun is right up over this way. Oh, I guess that is kind of low, huh? Let's get this tire. Two power attacks, no actual tire. Maybe I should just uh, hang around the horde base for a while. <laughs> it seems like it might be a good idea. Instead of over-encumbering myself a far distance away. Sure, we'll do that. We'll start digging a hole or something. Play it safe. No need to ruin ourselves on the first horde night. At least we know that the only thing that's really missing from our motorcycle crafting endeavors is one wheel and one engine. All of which can be very easily collected. Just takes a bit of time. Oh, okay, yeah, the sun is further down than I thought. We'll pay one quick visit to the base to grab a few drinks in case our stamina starts being a problem. And then any shotgun shells that we have, which should be in the first chest up above, we'll grab these. We'll turn this off for now. One stack of red tea should be fine. We already have food in our inventory. Oh yeah, that's red. That's dark. And it's spoopy. Let's take a peek in here. Where are my shells? One stack? Do we have any more? No, that's it. That's fine, though. I doubt we'll need more. If we're lucky, we won't even have to use the thing. Oh, yeah, it was modified, so I should repair it. Or not repair it, reload it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's the sun. No, it's not as low as I thought. I was just getting some weird angles. Oh, well. I guess we'll just run around and beat some trees up or something. I have a whole AK in my inventory. <laughs> I forgot I took that as a quest reward. This is a perfectly good excuse to start collecting wood. Oh man, this thing is just so much more efficient than 
the scrap iron one. It swings faster, does more damage. It's at the cost of a bit more stamina, but that barely matters considering that the damage output basically cancels that out. And we've got plenty of mining skill. Yeah, plenty. Should get quite a bit darker before the actual horde night begins, so we'll just keep doing this. Should have enough time. Even if the ring-a-ding started popping off right now, we'd have enough time to run to the horde base. It's a simple enough method to get into it. I'm hoping it actually works. It'll probably work anyway, just because we have the shotgun, but I'm hoping it works well enough as a melee base. That's the true goal. Let's get an extra spoopy now. Let's collect this garbage. Any excuse to increase the scavenging level? There used to be a bug where you could open and close the same container over and over to get scavenging XP for the action skills, and that was kind of busties. <laughs> so, you know, that got patched out by Kane. Just stealth whacking trees until the horde comes. How's it looking? Oh, surprisingly far down, actually. Uncomfortably far down. Ooh, little lag spike. Is that... I mean, that looks close enough to be considered nighttime to me. Let's make our way to the Horde base, then. Things are looking awfully spoopy. So I suppose we'll come up here and simply play the waiting game. As far as I know, everything is set and ready for Horde night. Or at least it should be. You know what? Just to see what happens, I'm going to put another wooden hatch right here on the other end of this one. <laughs> Maybe it'll just irritate the zombies. Force them to jump. We'll start like this, and then... See how it goes. Actually, I just realized I don't have any cobblestone on me. Sun's right there. Yeah, we have a second. I'm gonna grab my cobblestone real quick. I have plenty of forged iron. I just forgot my cobblestone. Which may or may not be essential. We'll see. I can certainly guarantee you that trying to run a horde base made of wood during Darkness Falls is a bad idea. Cobblestone is not here. It's below. Grab this and get out of here. Sprint our way back to the horde base. Oh yeah, she's getting low. That large batch of trees is blocking where the sun is. <laughs> It makes it seem like it's further on in the day than it is. I'm just gonna nervously punch dirt until the ring-a-ding occurs, perhaps. Or at least until I feel uncomfortable enough that I'm going to walk myself back into the horde base. As long as I keep myself at the right angle, I can actually see where the sun is. Yeah, that looks like enough for me. So, now that we're at the cusp of the horde night, let's see how our first, seventh day, in Darkness Falls goes. Sounds like the dinner bell just rang. I'm not sure how to feel about it so far. <laughs> they really are just piling on though. It might not work as a melee base, I'm thinking that the shotgun is going to have to come out at some point here. Mostly if they beat through an entire layer. They also keep blowing up out there, which means my cobblestone blocks are getting destroyed. Oh, they just blew up the wooden hatch. <laughs> this is the closest thing we've gotten to a dull moment so far. They're really stacking up here. I'm curious. How much damage this has taken? Oh, not that much, actually. Surprisingly well done. Let's get back to destroying them, though. We don't need them stepping on top of each other like this, that's for sure. Doesn't help us at all. Oh, there goes another explosion. The question is how much damage that's doing to my blocks. Hopefully not too much. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. I can't raise my... There we go. Hatch. Looks like I have to prioritize repairing a bit more. So let's do that. Repair, repair. Definitely shotgun time. Oh dear. Keep repairing. Just keep repairing. Oh boy. That got ugly real fast. Looks like shotgun was the better idea. Oh no. They've I think they've punched a hole. Oh, they broke down my bridge. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ouch. I don't have any healing items either. Those explosions, I underestimated them. Should have made multiple layers and a longer bridge. I can hear the birds going to town too. 
I think we're gonna have to keep building and repairing that bridge there. Like this. So at least get it to wood. Now we've got a cobblestone. Now they should have a path to me, right? It gives them a path. Put a block next to it, maybe two. <laughs> Damn, those explosions really are an issue. Look guys, you really do have a path to me. <laughs> this is going horribly. So we can get this bag out of here. Oh, that's why they're not coming across. Ouch. Ow. Damn, birds. Oh, ooh. Rest in peace. Yikes. Looks like I was right in guessing that Kane had removed the zombie cap <laughs> for the Horde Knight. I guess we'll just grab our loot and try to set up again. I had a feeling there would be some issues. I just didn't think that they would be, well, that abundant. There's a multitude of issues with my Horde base, it seems. I'll take everything. Just reload the shotgun for now and try to get back inside. Since we have a second, it's a good idea to start doing this business. Where's my machete? Get these corpses out of the way. They probably will come back at some point. So let's get this set up. Yeah, see this? Yeah, they're already coming back. Good. Ooh, relax, copper man. <laughs> it's all cops and booger men now, huh? Is that how we're doing this? Oh, no. I can't reach in there. Well, the hatches are holding up, but the blocks around them are not. It seems like Max 64 Zombies was a mistake. A huge mistake. If they break that block, that one cobblestone block up there, the whole thing is over. Oh dear. Let's see if we can't repair it. Oh, it's not even that damaged. Surprisingly. Hatch is fine. These blocks. This is not fine. Not even close. Get that taken care of and get back to shotgunning. <laughs> oh no. This is a huge problem. Oh, there goes another explosion. Can't delay repairing too much. I'll just go through one clip, reload it, and then start repairing. Repair. Yep. Get this and this top block. This one up here and this one. Let's see if I can't get this one in the corner. Pick this up. Back to the shotgun. They're trying to jump in because of that ladder. It's, it's kind of funny. I think it messes with their AI a bit. Good god. I'm gonna have to do some serious preparations for the next one. This was a failed base. But hey, we're learning. At least it's not radiated. They may be recovering health between these shots. Ooh, more explosions. Let's go ahead and get to repairing again. This, that. The four corners. If they get the block beneath, that's gonna suck too. These spiders jumping between the hatches is very annoying. I'm thinking, if we don't have traps up by day 14, we won't be able to handle 64 zombies. <laughs> this is giving me an insane amount of XP, which is great, but also kind of bad. It means the next Horde Knight is going to be even worse. Wow, he really did remove the entire cap on all zombies for the Horde Knight. This is indeed 64 zombies at a time. Let's get to wasting some of the stamina, I guess. Start power attacking through, and then go to the shotgun. It's almost just as effective as the shotgun, actually. And now we're out. Back to the shotgun until we get our stamina back. Jeez, this is a lot. A lot, a lot. Let's go and get back to repairing. Yep, that's halfway down. If we had a nail gun, this would be a little bit more effective. How's the hatch doing? Barely touched. It's like they're not even paying attention to the hatch. I'll use this power attack until we're out of stamina. That piercing is really adding up. Really adding up. And then when we run out, shotgun. Gotta repair the spear too. <laughs> the loot bags are in the way now. At least the bullets can go through them. Because, well, shotgun. Then back the spear. So this is doable, I just wasn't taking it seriously enough at the beginning. Apparently after moving back one block, there's just not as much of an issue of them hitting the blocks outside. Shotgun time. Should probably get back to repairing the blocks after I run out of this clip. I think I'll run out of ammo before the night finishes, which is not good. Alright, let's repair. I think I have to repair my stone axe too. There we go. The blocks on the sides and the corner. Seems fine. Do then this one. Then back to the spear. I might have been able to craft an iron spear before all of this began too. That might have made a big difference. Because the damage of this thing is actually almost as good as the shotgun in terms of clearing the crowds. I just run out of stamina too quickly. Which is leaving me having to do this. Which is not good. Oh, the cops are a huge issue. Anything that blows up is a problem. Back to the spear. Get those power attacks in for the piercing. Gonna just run through all of it so I can get back to the shotgun quickly. Spear it up. A few more shotgun shots. 
And then back to repairing. Just gotta, oh, they almost broke through this one block here. That's not good. What's this doing? Right over here. This has the hatch. Down about a quarter. Uh-oh. Back to the spear. Gotta start knocking them down and out. This is a bit, a bit of an issue. Back to the shotgun. We're definitely gonna run out of ammo before the night is up. It's guaranteed at this point. We're already one death in. Oh no. That was an explosion. Back to the spear. If I could increase my stamina regen, that would make a huge difference. Ah, we're starting to actually push them back a little bit. Just a bit, though. And they're right back where they were. Back to repairing. All the corners, the hatch, were good. There's not a group who don't even bother- Oh no, they did the thing again. So if can place some blocks, drop this hatch, give them a path. Yep. They're blowing up the path, which is the biggest issue. That's why I died in the first place. I had to build my way to them to give them a path, and then the birds took me out. Which, the birds don't seem to have respawned, which is weird. Well, they can jump to me, I guess that counts for them. I can get this guy out of the way. Ouch. Getting spit at. Oh, he's about to blow up more. There goes a cop. <laughs> They've ruined the path. I guess I can just remove this hatch now. If I can build a block right here, I can give them a path. There we go. <laughs> this is just so botched. Let's go ahead and raise one hatch so we don't get... Oh no, there's... there's... <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, they can jump in. That's a problem. Let's go and remove that block, maybe. Raise this hatch, that's the problem. There we go. We gotta reload. I haven't repaired those blocks in a second, so I gotta get that right now. Well, they have a path, apparently, because they're choosing to take it. Run out of stamina, and then get back to repairing. This thing is fine, that's fine. This hatch as well, back to power attacking. Damn. <laughs> This is rough. I'll repair my spear. Takes a moment to repair, doesn't it? Three, four, four or five seconds. Back to power attacking. Sounds like someone's about to blow up and ruin the whole project again. Gotta prioritize these hazmat boys because they can self-destruct. The bleeding damage really adds up here. Piercing plus the bleeding. You could do a melee base like this. I just should have probably went with something a bit more standardized. A straight line so when they blow up I could just move backward. But I decided to. Experiment. It's not bad to experiment. I just should have probably stuck a little bit more to my standard guns. Yeah, we're very limited on ammo. Save the rest of the shotgun ammo for an emergency. It seems like the numbers are dying out. One death on the first night of <laughs> Darkness Falls Horde Night? Not too bad. Seems like I should have taken the time to collect resources and maybe set up some electric wires. That could have saved me a lot of trouble. Like, a lot of trouble. Get the repairing, just in case. I'm a little afraid to see the damages they've done. So let's get this block upgraded to cobblestone. Repair this hatch. It seems like maybe two or three of those self-destructing explosions they do is enough to take out a cobblestone block. So you can see this hazmat man really struggling to get up this ladder. I think they broke the ladder. Eh, he'll bleed to death before he blows up. There you go. I can hear more of them, which means I gotta put a ladder here so they have a path to me. There we go. But they should circle around, right? Maybe? Hello? <laughs> I think the zombie explosions... Oh, that's the wrong tool. The explosions were blowing up the legs of some of these guys. I have to come down here and finish them off. Yep, it's definitely the explosions. Unless my shotgun was just capping them. Could be it. Sounds like there's another burnt zombie. Somewhere. What are these? Stone? Okay. I guess it's the cobblestones, that makes sense. Break those down, and we can just... Kill what's left, start the repair process. What's left? Hoodie man? <laughs> He's really stuck there, huh? Do you see that? There's a zombie inside the block there. Is that what's going on there? Oh no, it's this guy. He has no legs or arms, so he's just biting at nothing. <laughs> Amazing. We have an insane amount of loot to get through, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right about now. That truly was a ludicrous amount of loot. <laughs> they have done a number on this base, which is fine. We've now learned that Kane pulls no punches. If you set it to 64 zombies, you get 64 zombies. Which means we just have to be more prepared during the next Fortnite, and we will be. But this has been Episode 7 of the Darkness Falls series. 
Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.